In this resin tutorial today, I'll demonstrate how I created a beach scene. My name's Michelle Tracy. Starting with the sand layer, I've mixed two shades of sand, a darker shade for the wet sand and a lighter shade for the dry sand. Immediately, I start placing down the rocks and pebbles while it's wet and I'll stick to that and they will not come off. And then the sand gets sprinkled over the top, but only on the area really where I want it to be dry. The colour of sand is called Champagne from Just Resin and I did add white to it to lighten it for both the dark and the light actually. And I'm also now placing crystals down because I just love them. I love that Art Resin doesn't have any VOCs or fumes so I generally, I work in a well ventilated area and I don't wear a mask but today it is freezing cold outside and the wind is blowing a gale so I can't open my windows wide at all. So I'm taking extra precaution and I'm wearing a mask today. I'm mixing white and turquoise together for the lighter colour and just plain turquoise for the darker colour at the top. Right about now I've noticed I haven't mixed enough resin and I'm struggling to spread that out so I'm going to get the heat onto it to thin it out a bit and also tilt it to have it run down to the end. The board is larger than what you see on camera. I always put a layer of clear down first that way the sand shows through and you get some really good lacing. About 10 minutes later my white was thick enough to pour. It's always a good idea to make sure your white is really thick and opaque. Don't add too much pigment but if you let it sit in the cup it'll thicken up. That's how you get this lovely um, three-dimensional looking wave. My resin's pretty thick so I've got my heat gun on high to push that out. I then pass over it with a blowtorch because it's the heat that really activates that lacing. The white I'm using today is from Archery Creations and it's called Iceland White. I'm really happy with this. I've only recently discovered it and I'll start using it more often and I'll see how I go with it. I'm applying a small amount of clear resin to the back of the shells so they will stick. I feel like the rocks need to extend into the water so I'm going to add some. You can simply just do that and drop little shells in there as well. Before pouring my second layer, I always let the piece dry overnight for about 24 hours to, until it's hard. And then I'll sand it back with a piece of um, sandpaper and then a dry cloth to clean it up. The line will almost always drop down lower than you um, pour it, so it's a good idea to actually pour it a bit higher than you plan to have that line. And I'm just using the same colours again. But I've mixed them a little bit more transparent than the first layer so that the previous layer shines through. And I'm also careful not to add too much pigment, especially with the white and turquoise mix because that white will make that turquoise opaque. So you really don't want to use too much pigment. And again, I've let that white sit in the cup for a further 10 minutes to thicken up. This white in particular will take a little while for those cells and lacings to show. Once you hit it with the heat, you've got to be patient. I'm finding it can take 10 minutes for it to really come through. And if you do want to extend some of that white out, you can just use a little toothpick and manually do it and get the blowtorch onto it or the heat gun to soften it out a bit if you like. And the surface I'm working on is a 60 by 80 centimeter artboard. So it's about 24 by 32 inches. It's kind of on the large side so I'm having to work quickly because there's a lot of ground to cover and the composition always evolves on its own. I just go with the flow and add things as I feel like I need to. It kind of presents itself as I go along. So you can just drop items like crystals and shells and rocks into the wet resin and it will stick, stick to it and it will also some of it will sink down which is nice because it looks like it's underwater and some of it will stick out of the water. So it's nice to have that contrast of both of those elements. Just repeating the same steps for the third and final wave. And I will tilt the board again because I like getting that movement and that flow in the water like it's naturally flowing like the ocean. That white that's mixed in with the turquoise creates a little bit of lacing as well. Before pouring the colors, I did let them sit in the cup for about 10 minutes to thicken up. And then I let the white sit for a further 10 minutes to make sure it was thick and also so that line wasn't going to move down too far. I like using the compressor nozzle because there's so much air that comes out of it and you can really 
get that thick white to get moving whereas if you don't have enough um, air blowing out of it the white's just not going to move for the little imperfection in that wave there I've dropped in a couple of crystals and I like it because it breaks up that line rather than pouring more white to even it up using a toothpick to pull out any bits of dust before covering it up I really enjoyed this style of resin I hope that you did too and let me know if you'd like to see more like this next time I might put some more elements into the water like different textures and things and if you do have any questions please leave them in the comments my name's Michelle Tracy and thank you so much for watching.